All right, today's date is March 13th, 2013. My name is Leslie Williams, and this is a continuation of the previous video. Now, um, this is, shows you the date and time, 2013, 11.35 a.m., and I am in San Diego, California, and I am making a video file that is being digitally tape recorded on an audio recorder, and I am in San Diego, California. And the reason why I'm making this particular audio uh, video file is this is a continuation of the previous video, and that video is in the description of this YouTube video. At the end of the title, it'll be labeled 1, and this one will be uh, labeled 2 at the end of this YouTube video title. I'm in San Diego, California. I'm a target of what is known as organized gang stalking. Now, in reference to some of the proof that I have, in the previous video, I, men I mentioned to you about the Point Loma Library staff playing a direct role in the organized gang stalking that was happening towards me in 2006, even though I did not know what was happening towards me back then was called gang stalking. And some of the emails I sent from the Point Loma Library discussed that I was being harassed in the Point Loma Library and um, and the fact that I was being stalked. Okay. Now, uh, and I do mention Point Loma Library staff. Also in a notary that I made as well. I'm in San Diego, California right now and today's date is March 13, 2013. And to give you an illustration concerning just one itty bitty itty bitty small section of the proof that I had that uh, this crime is happening towards me recently it was either on I think it was on March 7th just this last week on my last at my last visit to the North University San Diego Public Library I was in the computer room in the computer in the inside the library and the computer room is a separate room from the rest of the library excuse me and on previous occasions in this library I was making I was I was discreetly 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 there's no way that they could ever openly say that I was taking video pictures of anybody because I would turn I would get out my video uh, camera and take out the memory card and upload to attempt to upload some videos then I'd put it back in and then and then act like I was just holding it or setting it on the computer and then doing other things sometimes it was turned on in order to be able to take a video picture of people that they have used so there's no way any San Diego Public Library staff, management, or security, or San Diego police could say that anybody complained about me taking a video of them. Because they, the way they were done, it, it was done extremely discreetly. Okay? To make it appear that I was just handling my camera while my camera was already out in my hand and already out in the environment close by the computer. Because I was taking a video camera out constantly and changing and taking the memory cards out in order to upload the video, attempt to upload the videos that were on them. The point I'm trying to make is that I already have video pictures of people that have gaslighted me on previous occasions in that library. And I also have numerous audio files stating that I'm being gang stalked in that library before and after the March 7th incident occurred. And that is as follows. On March 7th, 2013, I was in the North University San Diego Public Library. And I was minding my own business as I always do because I want to make sure that these expeditions don't have any legitimate appearing reason to try and ban me or accuse me of anything. Trust me, I'm smart when it comes to these campaigns because I've experienced them now at least for 10 full years openly, overtly, and sometimes directly. So I know exactly who they are and how they operate. Yeah, what their motivations are and the excuses and lies and bullshit they'll attach to what they do while trying to discredit me. Because one thing in these expeditions is that the places that they use and the type of people that they use, they want to make sure that those people escape from the crime and the places escape from the crime while trying to make it appear that the target is a cause of any problems that they actually initiate towards the target. Because the whole goal at the end of the day is racketeering to try and co-op the target's finances by claiming a target's crazy, yes, and that a target's homeless and won't get out of it even though they're the ones who create the homelessness. But that's not the theme of this video. Right now, the theme of this video is to direct you to the description of what's in this YouTube video so you can see undeniable additional cooperating proof that is flat out in your face that I'm a victim of this crime and statements concerning what happened on March 7, 2013 at the North University San Diego Public Library when I was there minding my own business in the computer room doing nothing wrong. I was using a computer and at all times <clears throat> when I am out and about in the community I have a digital tape recorder running on full batteries at all time attached to my undergarments with the microphone practically still hidden by the clothes like the shirt and the sweatshirt I'll be wearing but the microphone's at the top of the digital tape recorder. 
okay? It can't be seen, but all I gotta do is cleverly put down my, my, my head a little bit, and when I make a statement in it when I'm out in public, I'll take my hand, that one that's holding the video camera right now, and I'll cover my mouth like I'm, like I'm coughing or, or itching my face, so I can make statements into it with my hand covering over it, okay? So, so they can't probably try and claim later that I'm talking to myself or something when I'm actually talking into the digital tape recorder. Because you would not believe the lengths that these people will go to in order to cover their ass concerning how they have been involved in this crime. And I'm talking about library staff, management, security, and the, and the city of San Diego government downtown. And the reason why I make these statements, fellow San Diegoans, is that once you witness the additional proof that's also going to be enclosed in the description of this YouTube video, you'll see the perpetrators involved, the places they've used, the bullshit that's happened to me, which, which include huge crimes, assaults, threats, being banned from places for doing literally absolutely nothing because I was exposing where the gang stalker was happening to me, happening to me at, at those places as well. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. On March 7, 2013, I was in the computer room at the North University San Diego Public Library doing nothing, minding my own business. Hang on one second. I apologize, I'm smoking. Hang on. Apologize, I'm smoking. Anyways, on March 7, 2013, I was at the North University San Diego Public Library in, a, in the computer room, which is a literal physical room that's dedicated for the computer lab. It's a literal separate physical room that's got walls, that's got windows, okay, on the walls, okay, so you can see in and out of the computer room from the other parts of the library, where the reference desk is, where the eventual circulation desk is, and where you can walk through the library to take out books or videos or what have you, okay? It's a literal separate physical room that's got windows, glass on the walls, so you can see in and out of the computer room from a distance. And I was in that computer room, and I was on the computer. Hang on. And I was doing work on a computer, and you can hear me typing concerning how, while I was in there, this digital audio file was running. Attached to my undergarments that is hidden by my shirts and my sweatshirt. Okay, but the microphone is at the top, okay? So if I'm wearing it like this, all I gotta do is bend over, and I always put my hand in front of my face, and I make a statement in it, if I have to, okay? About what I might be experiencing from a distance by individuals they're using for the day, which also includes library staff. When I was in the computer room typing, which you can hear the typing on the audio file, and that's already been uploaded to a video file, and you'll find that video in the description of this YouTube video shows me in the computer room typing and then I bent down well actually what I did was I covered my mouth and I made a statement while the digital tape recorder attached to my bra underneath my shirt and I put my hand over my mouth and I said I'm gonna go outside to have a cigarette let's see if the branch manager or anybody bothers me there was a reason why I made that statement why did I make it because on previous occasions I had been gaslighted by the branch manager and other employees at that library and individuals coming in acting as patrons to use the computer yes so what I do is I keep a log concerning the type of harassment that I experience and what and what I might experience. So when I was in the computer, working on a computer, and you can hear me typing on the audio file, I made a discreet statement in my digital tape recorder by putting my hands to my mouth and saying, I'm getting ready to go outside to have a cigarette for my digital tape recorder to hear it. Let's see if I'm harassed by, by the branch manager or anybody. Then I continued typing for a teeny bit for about a minute, minute and a half, and then, and then you hear the typing stop. And that was because I was unplugging the things that I had plugged into the computer, like the memory card and that, that's attached into a USB connector so the videos could attempted to be uploaded, and my, and my headset, my microphone, you know, my earphones, my headphones. <clears throat> and so I was unplugging those from the computer and then wrapping, you know, tying, them, tying them up as far as like the, uh, the uh, cords of them and everything in order to put it in my backpack, okay, which is there and there. And then I get up, hang on. And then I get up after putting the, after detaching these things from the computer, I put them in my backpack and in my carry-all. And then I walk out of the library to go have a cigarette. And as I was taking these things out of the computer to put in my backpack, 
I looked up because it's got glass on the wall that separates the computer room from the rest of the library. I looked up and I saw the branch manager engaging in organized gang stalking sensitization methods that are called gaslighting. So I made a statement discreetly as I was bending over to pick up this black bag into my tape recorder that I'm being gaslighted right now by the branch manager. I then picked up my stuff and walked out of the computer room and as I walked by where he was sitting at at the reference desk, he said gang stalking. Then after I, I burped, because in fact this right here is still the Coca-Cola bottle that I bought a Coca-Cola before I got to the library at UTC. And so I was a little carbonated, so I burped. So what he did was, he followed me out of the library and started in with a with a printed out library conduct policy stating that this isn't going to work. I said, what's well, not going to work? I go, who are you? Because I wanted him to identify himself while my digital tape recorder was running. Okay, And I said, oh, who are you? And he goes, well, I'm the branch manager. I go, okay. I go, well, I already know who you are. And he said, well, this isn't going to work. I go, what's well, not going to work? He goes, the burping. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, well, I've had other people complain about your burping, but I didn't want to approach you up until now because I didn't want you to feel like you were being harassed. Okay. Now, I want you to understand something. A third party is managing this. I had never, went, the first time I ever in my entire life went to North University San Diego Public Library, I was gaslighted the very first time by them, okay, which meant that a covert third party managed them to do it as a result of them tracking me and knowing that I was arriving there. Organized gang stalking surveillance, and that can be Googled, concerning how they will, if you go into YouTube right now and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids, you, it, it shows a target from Santa Cruz, he flats out being covered on the news, and he flat out states that everywhere he goes he's harassed, that he cannot escape it everywhere he goes. So. Once he started telling me that he was getting complaints about me burping by other patrons on previous days and that he's never approached me because he didn't want me to, me to feel harassed about it, I said, look, I go, why are, why are you and your employee that you were just standing with saying gang stalking as I'm walking by you? But here's the thing. I was in the computer room. I noticed him engaging in organized gang stalking sensitization methods, which were physical gestures that they sensitized targets to in order to make them feel harassed as a result of how many times they have to witness the physical gestures being presented towards them while people are in their physical proximity. It's a clever way to make a first person feel harassed by constantly repeating certain physical gestures like putting your hands to your face, finger to mouth, finger to the side of the face, even coughing in specific ways. They sensitize targets to these things and they also sensitize targets to specific words or phrases like getting around me and saying gang stalking which is the literal name of the crime that's happening to me and my personal life. So I'm in the computer room in a totally separate physical room that he is at because he's at his reference desk outside of the room with another employee. When I get up to unplug everything from the computer while I'm in the computer room to put that stuff on my unplugging from the computer into my backpack and then to walk out to have a cigarette while I'm still in the room, I look up and notice him engaging in these behaviors. And so I made a statement in my digital tape recorder as I'm still in the room that he's gaslighting me from a distance. And then I walk out of the room and he says gang stalking. Go to Google and type in gang stalking and gaslighting. You'll see that gaslighting is a term that describes gang stalking tactics. And you'll also see in the description of this YouTube video how I have over 400 audio files of gang stalking being set around me along all my routes. Even routes that are over 160 miles uh, separate from other routes that this crime, that this tactic has been used against me. What they're basically doing is getting along all my routes and repeating the word gang stalking or gang stalker constantly. And this is a clever way to make a target feel stalked by sensitizing them to physical gestures, words or phrases, or sounds, like specific ways of clearing their throat. Ah, and then the target is constantly, constantly subjected to these methods along all the routes. So they have the audacity to get around me and literally mention the word of the crime that's happening to me. Gang stalking. Yet this individual admitted when he came out that he has never approached me before. No one in that library knows me by name, and even if they knew me by name, why would they know if I ever have any uh, uh, information online that, that shows me exposing by an anonymous name that I'm being gang stalked? Why would they even know about gang stalking? Do you understand what I'm saying? I have undisputable proof that I'm a victim of this crime. Now, at the beginning of this video, I made a video stating, I mean, I made a, I made a statement stating that before I left the environment that morning, I made a video which showed a picture of my cell phone.
which showed the date and time. And on that video, just like I'm showing you now, on that video I said, I'm gonna, where I'm going to be going for the day. And I said, let's see if I hear gang stalking being said around me once. Because I have it on over 400 audio files, including in distances between 1, and 100, 1 mile and 167 miles. When I went to Yucca Valley <coughs> for a week, and I looked up Yucca Valley's directions in reference to their bus transportation and, and how to get out to Yucca Valley from the San Diego North University Public Library and SDSU. Where I was gang stalked on a fever scale out in Yucca Valley where the same method and tactic was caught out there after I predicted it before I even began my first day of when I was out there. Like the first morning, I, I got there at night, went to bed, you know, put up my tent, went to bed, got up the next morning. The very first place I went to was Del Taco and a woman pulled up next to me in a 4x4 and said gang stalking right next to me as I was, as I was taking a video picture of my bike. So I stopped that video picture because I was worried about, my, about them stealing my bike out there. So I took, got a, so I started a new video file and I said, let's see if I hear gang stalking set along any of my routes while I'm out here in Yucca Valley. That was on December 7th, 2012. And I caught gang stalking being set around me on a fever scale in Yucca Valley. On a fever scale. And some of those videos have already been uploaded online. Now the point I'm trying to make here is that why would a branch manager who literally says that he has never approached me concerning any matter whatsoever, except for he approached me one time to ask to check my bags to see if any um, videos, if, to see if I had any videos in my backpacks, because he said that there are a bunch of videos that have been stolen from the library lately. That was just his way to harass me on a previous occasion. But other than that, He's never approached me concerning anything, but he has gaslighted me from a distance. But the point is this. I described that he was engaging in gaslighting while I was in a totally separate room from where he was at. A totally separate room that is enclosed off from the rest of the library. But you can see the rest of the library through the glass windows. I made a statement in my digital tape recorder, I am being gaslighted right now by the branch manager. Okay? While I was still in the computer room, I walked out of the computer room and walked by him and he said gang stalking. Okay, gaslighting describes gang stalking methods. Yeah, and them getting around me and repeating the word gang stalking is their way to psychologically remind me that I'm a target of this crime and to remind me psychologically to make me feel victimized by getting around me and repeating the name of the crime. Look in the description of this YouTube video for cooperating material in reference to undisputable proof, including the audio file of that day. I'm in San Diego, California. When you witness the amount of proof, I caught three teenagers admitting they were put on a bus route that I was already on to engage in the physical gestures that I mentioned in this video, okay, on January 28, 2012. Literally caught them admitting to me while a digital tape recorder was running on me that they were put on a bus route I was already on to engage in behaviors that I was already describing in videos two months before. Go to YouTube and type in gang stalk, uh, learning disabled woman catches gang stalkers uh, admitting sent to harass. And then when you listen to that audio in that video, after you get done listening to it, look in the description of that YouTube video, you'll see that there's a video in there that, sh that was published two months prior to me catching those three teenagers showing in that video of what I was putting up with along my routes and what I was describing in that video is what the three teenagers admitted to two months later. Just that one video right there shows you I'm a target of this crime. Please look in the description of this YouTube video for cooperating material that will flat out literally show you that what this San Diego branch manager engaged in is the same exact method concerning other videos that have been online now for months. Undisputable proof that he engaged in the same exact tactic that is in multiple, multiple videos that are already online. Thank you.